Good Monday morning, everyone, and happy Veterans Day. It's 21 News Chief Meteorologist Eric Wilhelm here. I'm up and er at him bright and early this morning to uh, get in touch with the weather and talk about our big changes that are coming over the next 24 hours or so. Some impactful weather. Uh, if you need to be out on the roads tonight and into Tuesday morning, uh, you're going to want to adjust your plans accordingly, especially if you live in Trumbull and Mercer counties. And we'll get to all the details, including snow amounts in this uh, video. A lot of real estate covered by winter weather advisories and winter storm warnings this morning. The purple color, that's a winter weather advisory. When you get into the pink colors, those are winter storm warnings. And winter storm warnings are out for the uh, primary snow belts of Northeast Ohio, Northwest PA, Western New York, including uh, Cleveland to Ashtabula to Erie up towards Jamestown, Buffalo, and Rochester as well. Closer to home, we have a winter weather advisory out for Trumbull and Mercer counties. We do not have any winter weather products out for Mahoning, Columbiana, Lawrence, and points to the south and east. Now, during the uh, day today, no problems. In fact, it'll be a halfway decent day today, a fairly cloudy day. But we're not expecting any precipitation to push in until very late today, and uh, more so into the evening hours. The uh, snow is well off to our north this morning, impacting Detroit, Grand Rapids, Milwaukee, Chicago. Cold front is pushing through, but this is just kind of a, an initial weak surge of cool air. Uh, I do think temperatures will make their way into the lower and in some places middle and even upper 40s uh, by midday today before temperatures start to retreat once again as this colder air uh, pushes in. So in a place like East Liverpool today, it may even approach 50 degrees this afternoon. Uh, before temperatures start to fall, whereas in Mahoning, Trumbull, Mercer counties will probably uh, rise a few degrees this morning and then start to trail back as we get into the uh, into the afternoon today. Let's uh, talk about the timing of our precipitation. It is uh, going to be an issue for tonight and for tomorrow morning, but not for rush hour this evening. Getting home from work, getting home from school, just fine today. I'm going to stop the animation here at 4 o'clock this afternoon. Might be seeing a little bit of rain, a couple of showers trying to push in at this point, but uh, this would be liquid and it would be very spotty and very light, again, very non-impactful for 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock uh, this afternoon, this evening. Once we get past sunset and especially into mid-evening, from northwest to southeast, we're going to see a transition from that chilly rain over to wet snow. And on average, that transition is going to occur between 7 p.m. and 10 p.m., earliest north and west, latest south and east. So for example, this is 8 o'clock this evening. We are probably seeing snow from Newton Falls to Mesopotamia, heading up towards Kinsman, but still some rain in Youngstown, Boardman, Canfield, and all of Columbiana County. A good chunk of Mercer County still in the rain at 8 o'clock this evening. Now once we fast forward a few hours to midnight, then it's snowing everywhere. And this is when conditions will be deteriorating across the region because not only will it be snowing at a decent clip, temperatures will be falling back below freezing, and so wet areas uh, may start to uh, try to freeze up and we're going to get the snow on top of it. And yeah, the later in the night we go, the worse things are going to get as far as the uh, conditions go. Now I'm going to fast forward then to when a lot of people are trying to get up and uh, head out to work and school for Tuesday morning. By this point, the steady snow at 6 o'clock tomorrow morning is down here. We're transitioning at this point into more of a lake effect regime. Now, this is going to be a pretty good lake effect event. The instability is going to be tremendous over Lake Erie. The Lake Erie water temperatures are still in the 50s. The air, especially when you go up a few thousand feet, that is blowing over Lake Erie tomorrow morning will be in the single digits and teens, the air a few thousand feet above our heads. That difference is pretty enormous, and that's going to cause extreme instability and pretty good-looking bands of lake effect snow. Setting up first, perhaps in kind of a oh, a northeast to southwest orientation like this. But then as we go through Tuesday, a little bit more of a north-south and then eventually kind of a northwest to southeast orientation as the wind continues to shift. I'm not going to be surprised if we have some thunder snow up near the lake tomorrow morning with these. And, you know, in our area, conditions will be very changeable tomorrow morning. You're going to go from everything being just fine to perhaps finding yourself in a whiteout in a few spots. Uh, that's the nature of lake effect, especially when you have uh, kind of extreme instability like we're going to have tomorrow morning. So uh, just plan on variable conditions across the region for the first half of the day on Tuesday. Again, fine one minute, not so fine the next. The most numerous snow showers, uh, the highest risk of uh, nasty travel conditions will probably be in a corridor like this, catching uh, parts of Trumbull and Mercer and even western Mahoning County. 
and perhaps even down into western parts of Columbiana around Hanoverton, heading over towards New Franklin and into the Alliance area. It's going to be possible that a couple of these bands sneak that far to the south. The farther south and east you are, the smaller the chances are of you having impactful flurries and snow showers tomorrow morning. So think, oh, East Palestine, East Liverpool, Wellsville, Calcutta, uh, Elwood City, Newcastle. Um, all those places have a lower risk of seeing impactful snow uh, tomorrow morning uh, from the lake effect than areas to the north and west. The, the risk of flurries and snow showers will be highest tomorrow morning, but even tomorrow afternoon, for the first couple of hours of the afternoon, can't rule out some additional uh, flurries and snow showers. It may start shifting a little more into Mercer County at that point, uh, but uh, we're going to have to just stay weather aware throughout the day. And whether you're seeing snow tomorrow afternoon or not, it's going to be blustery and cold everywhere. Temperatures in the 20s, and then tomorrow night, temperatures will drop down into the teens and will be challenging some uh, records. Here's kind of a zoomed out view of the uh, snow forecast. Now this accounts for the general snow that we're going to have tonight, plus the lake effect tomorrow into early tomorrow night. No doubt, highest amounts in the purple up in the primary snow belt. So Geauga County, Lake County, Cuyahoga County, Ashtabula County, Crawford and Erie over in PA. But as we get down into our television viewing area, yeah, I think there's going to be some places in Trumbull and Mercer especially that end up getting uh, three, four, even five, six inches worth of snow in total. Now again, this is all not coming tonight. This is the combination of tonight plus the lake effect tomorrow. I think uh, a lot of this one to three that you see in Salem, Columbiana, East Palestine, Newcastle, Youngstown, Boardman, Canfield, that one to three is primarily tonight because the lake effect is not as much of a, of, of a big deal in those places tomorrow. Um, so a lot of this area, this is coming with the general snow tonight. And then once you're down into Selineville, Wellsville, uh, East Liverpool area, you know, you might be hard pressed to see much more than an inch in total. Uh, because the transition over to snow in those places tonight is going to wait until 9, 10 o'clock, and then it's only going to snow for a few hours, and then you're not going to see much lake effect during the day tomorrow. So uh, if you're a snow lover down towards the river in East Liverpool, sorry, this is not your situation. Um, but uh, yeah, 1 to 3, Lisbon, Hanoverton, Salem, Columbia, and East Palestine mostly coming tonight. The farther north you are, um, the higher amounts are going to be, again, with the combination of the, of the 1 to 3 tonight, plus another couple or a few inches uh, with localized higher amounts uh, coming with the lake effect tomorrow. If someone's going to see more than six, uh, your best bet in our area is far northwestern Trumbull, uh, closer to the Geauga line, and then maybe, maybe six or seven occurs over towards the northeastern corner of Mercer. But you get the idea here, enough to shovel and plow and cause travel disruptions, and again, changeable conditions coming our way as uh, we go into uh, your Tuesday morning. So plan on a, uh, a tough one Tuesday morning uh, with changeable conditions and some snow on the ground, some snow to clean off your car. If it's sitting out uh, tonight, we'll have you updated on the Storm Tracker 21 app on social media. And of course, uh, this evening, I'll be on 21 News at 6 and 11 with a breakdown of the radar and everything else you need to know. Have a great Monday, everyone.